Hey guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to talk about the culture of dating in Croatia. So thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe and let's get started. So I just spent three weeks in Croatia, went to Zagreb, Dubrovnik, Split and Zadar and Croatia being in the Balkans, Balkans is known for having probably some of the most beautiful women in the world so a lot of people will be curious in terms of dating in Croatia itself. So in this video I'm going to talk to you about a little bit about my experience and some tips for you if you are to want to travel there and date the local girls there. So first, first thing and uh, first and foremost is that Croatia is a small country population of 4 million so just to put it out there that a lot of the girls are going to have boyfriends um, especially in the big cities and even the cities that I went to down the coastline so just you know be out for that even though you're probably the foreigner speak very good English you know they're probably very charismatic uh, just that's a big heads up and that's what I kind of came across when I was approaching girls and just as a caveat I did the day game approach. I didn't do any online dating. So for those who've online used online dating in Croatia, please leave uh, some comment below on your um, leave some feedback uh, in the comments below on your experience. But for me, I just stuck to mostly approaching, all approaching actually. So that's where all this experience is coming from. So. One thing that I like to first highlight is that girls in Croatia, they love to be approached. Uh, it's very rare for you to approach someone and they kind of give you a bad reaction or shrug you off. For the most part, the girls are very friendly. So you just go, you know, approach, tell them, you know, why you're saying hello. Say that, hey, I thought you looked nice. I wanted to come and meet you and kind of gauge your reaction. A lot of times they're going to smile. Sometimes they'll say that, you know, I'm busy. Thank you so much. I have a boyfriend. That's fine. But for the most part, a lot of them will be there to talk with you because especially if you come from the West or you speak very good English, first and foremost, that's going to be very intriguing for them. So that's what uh, my experience was, is that a lot of them stood and they're very receptive to the approach itself and kind of wondering why I was there uh, being, you know, from, from the U.S., one of the reasons was Croatia was one of the few European countries that is still open to Americans for travel. But even before this whole situation happened, uh, I heard great things about Croatia, so I already planned on going there. And I heard that the girls were beautiful, one of the most in the world. And a few years ago, I went to Serbia, similar culture, ex-Yugoslavia, very beautiful, uh, very nice um, and very friendly, cute girls in Serbia. So same thing here, pretty much. So girls are very receptive, that's one. They speak very good English, just like in Serbia. Uh, the younger population, 20s and 30s, even 40s, they all know English quite well. So in terms of that barrier, there's really no language barrier. The occasional one, you know, I'm not saying that it's like everyone's gonna speak super fluent, but a lot of them are still gonna be able to have a good conversation with you. So that's another you know, great thing about going there and, tr and dating the local woman, is that there's no Google Translate or you know, one out of three, four speaks English. So like if you talk to somebody, they can't understand you. They're just staring, smiling at you. So uh, that's another great thing about Croatia. The e level of English is excellent there. And then just, I kind of already talked about it, but they're just very like, some of the genetics, they're just very cute. Most of them are very attractive. And it's something where like when you walk on the street or if you're in one of the main squares, literally like the majority are very good looking. So that's another good reason. And plus on top of that, they're all like very friendly and they have good personalities and especially if you're a foreigner and you're just curious about learning more about the culture, learning more about the country, about that specific city, everybody loves talking about their city and their culture. So another good way is to kind of be like, hey, where's a show me a good spot. Um, one that's maybe a tourist may not come across. So that's another great thing and though more than glad uh, recommend maybe show you a good spot so that that's another good reason itself 
So those were a lot of the positives. And my experience was I approached a lot. Uh, I did get rejected a lot because of the boyfriend, but I did end up going out on a lot of dates. And for the ones who come out, uh, they're very cool. They're very cool girls. Like I said, very attractive, uh, great personalities. The level of English is fantastic. So I would recommend, uh, for example, Zagreb. That's the main capital. Uh, what the areas to go to are the Banjelic Square. And that's where the old town is. So if you get an Airbnb there, I would just um, get one there. You're nearby all the cafes, the restaurants, the square. So during the day, during the evening, there's so many girls. There's going to be so many opportunities for you to go up and talk with. So it's a numbers game. Uh, do your approaches. Uh, I would recommend probably 20 to 30 every day. And then towards the end of your trip, you can start setting up the dates. But uh, it's a very good place to practice your uh, approaching skills. I would say that Croatia is not the easiest in terms of, you know, getting the number, going out. It's more of an intermediate to high level once you've been doing it for a while. But it's a good way of testing your skills. And again, the girls are very attractive, very receptive to cold approach itself. A lot of times, even if you don't end up getting the number, uh, they still will be like, wow, that was, uh, you know, really, you know, super confident of you. Uh, it's very rare to find that these days. And especially, I think the men in Croatia don't code approach. Uh, they just, like all the other, like, including here in the U.S., it's bar, having to drink, like, get that liquor courage in order to talk to girls. So you really stand out and you'll probably blow some girls away. Uh, so I'll probably make another video on, like, specific stories. But I'm just talking about the general of the dating scene uh, in Croatia. And just as a caveat, though, Croatia is not like, I would say, super, super religious, but you will find some, some some conservative girls there. So you'll probably catch them off guard. Let's say if she comes from a very conservative background and you just out of the blue come out, start talking to her, ask her out, uh, they may be kind of thrown off by that. Um, so just expect it every now and then. But for the most part, no, a lot of them... Uh, will be receptive to it and then just depends on how you talk to them, their current situation and if they're you're actually going to get the number go out or a lot of times you can do the instant date. So if it's during the day on the weekend, you, you know, like I said, if you're by the old town, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of cafes around. Don't, you know, rule that out if you're having a great conversation first to feel, feel out the vibe and if it's a good vibe after uh, about you know, five to eight minute conversation, I'll be like, hey, I was going to get a coffee. Do you want to come along with? That's another uh, way that I went on quite a few dates in Croatia is using the instant date because sometimes if you get a number, who, who knows what's going to happen? She may not respond or she's leaving that weekend. So don't rule that out, but don't right away ask that. Make sure that the conversation is going well and that both of you really don't have much to do. You as a tourist, you probably are open to anything, but if she's not working, or if she has some free time, definitely invite her out. And that's a great way of making an instant date and uh, you know, getting to know the person a lot more and faster. So guys, uh, this was a general video that I wanted to make about the dating culture. Uh, in terms of nightlife, there's a lot of bars. When I was there, the clubs were not open because of the situation, but there's still a lot of cafes, restaurants, you know, every day from Monday through Sunday, in the evening, at night, it was still full of bars. People were always going out. It's a very lively culture there, and mainly Zagreb. Uh, the coastal cities, I was there when it was post-summer season, so it was not as busy. But even there, it, you can still have a great time, no matter what day of the week. But especially Zagreb, it's always out, people after work. It's more of a live-in-the-moment uh, type of environment where once people get off work, they kind of want to relax, have a good time with their friends, uh, spouses, families, etc. So it's a great way that if you do end up going out with a girl or you're just by yourself or with friends, there's always something around the corner that you can kind of hang out and have a good time because it's a, it's a cool city. Like I really enjoyed, I really recommend going to Zagreb. First and foremost is to travel to see the country itself. But in terms of if you're a single guy, if you're a bachelor, if you just want to go and experience the dating life and the dating culture, I would definitely recommend to make sure that you do not miss it, especially if you like to travel, go around Europe. This is one of the countries that is probably not as talked about, but it should. Uh, it's kind of like a dark horse, I would recommend, or I would say it's a little bit of a dark horse, but 
I've experienced it and I would recommend anybody to any guy to go out if you want to have fun and you just want to meet cool girls uh, attractive girls and just experience a pretty uh, pretty cool and unique city that being Zagreb and then also the other cities that Croatia has to offer so guys with that uh, I hope you found this video of some value if you have any questions or if I didn't talk about something specifically please ask below shoot me an email I spent again I spent three weeks there and I approached I think close to a hundred girls I went out with quite a few so I did get uh, that experience in terms of dating in Croatia so any questions uh, leave a comment below send me an email again thanks so much for watching the video and I'll talk to you in the next one